So in this video we will see how Webhavi can be configured to extract data from Amazon. So I have loaded up Webhavi and what you see is the Webhavi interface which includes a configuration browser. So the first step is to go to the web page from which you need to extract data. So in Amazon let's search for mobile phones and in this example this is the listings page from which I wish to extract product details so there are multiple products in this page and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page you can see that there are multiple such pages so I want to extract product data from each of these pages from each of the products and I would also like to follow each of these product links to load their details page from which I will be selecting additional details like its price or as in images etc. So once you have loaded the page which contains or displays the data which you need to extract the next step is to start the configuration process by clicking the start button this is where you teach Webhavi what all data you need to extract. So using a point and click interface you can select the data which you need to extract. So let's start with the name. So before that one general rule of thumb which you can follow is to avoid any sponsored listings which may come up front in the listing. So avoid selecting any sponsored listing or ads and select the first original product from the listing. So let's click on the first product's name and select it. You can see that all the remaining products are extracted. Webhavi is asking you whether the preview of the entire page needs to be generated. You can click no and we can proceed with selecting more details like for example you can extract the number of reviews and the rating. We can also select the product details page URL by using the capture target URL option. Then let's scroll down to the bottom of the page and select the next page link. Set as next page link and this will let Webhavi to navigate each of these subsequent listing pages by repeatedly clicking this next button or link and extract all the data which we configure now. So now let's follow each of these product links to extract additional data. For that we just need to click on the first product link during configuration and select the follow this link option. So Webhavi will load the details page for the product and from here you can select additional data. So let's extract uh, the product description here or it's the specification. Click on the first one. If you want to include more text from around where you clicked, you can click on the capture more content option multiple times till all the text which you need is displayed in the preview and then click on the capture text button. You can also select the product image. We will have another video which explains in detail how multiple product images and how high resolution product images from Amazon can be extracted. So right now just we will just concentrate on the default image displayed and let's go down the page. Let's also select the product description. So when you are in the details page it is recommended that you use the capture following text whenever possible. This can be used when the data which you need to extract is guaranteed to come after a heading text. So in such cases click on the heading text instead of clicking directly on the text which you need to extract. So click on the heading text and select the capture following text option and then click the capture text button. So this is the product description and similarly we can select as in BSR model number 
So let's now stop the configuration. There is no need to go back to the previous page. Let's stop it right here and then we'll start mine using the configuration. Here you can specify the number of pages to mine. And Webhavi will ask you to select a folder where download images are to be saved. If you click cancel, Webhavi will download image URLs without actually saving them. So you can see that Webhavi has started collecting the data which we just configured. It will now follow each of the product links to get additional data. So we hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact or support whose link will be shared in the description below. Thank you.